Hi, I'm Brian Butler from phillygaycalendar.com. We are here at the Ritz Movie Theater as part of Q-Fest after an amazing screening of I Am Divine, the new documentary that is premiering here at Q-Fest. And I'm here with the producer, Lottie Knowles. Lottie, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here. Awesome. Um, we just left a packed house here in Philly. It was packed. Um, what about Divine do you think brings so many people out? I think Divine is just the ultimate uh, misfit done good, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's as we said in there, it's the ultimate it gets better story mm. of someone who was so different but just wore it well, you know, just said, this is me, and put it full out there and won, you know? And that's inspirational for everybody, let's face it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, how did you get involved with Divine this whole movie? I got involved. The director, Jeffrey Schwarz, was a friend of mine, has been a friend of mine for about 10 years. And I worked on his last film, Vito, that came out last year. And uh, I guess it was probably January of 11. He just sat me down. And he's like, well, do you want to work on the next one? We're doing Divine. And I thought, oh, my God, Divine, of course, yeah. you know. So I got involved. My main role has been fundraising and also running the filthy Facebook page. Okay. So facebook.com backslash Divine Movie if you want to come enjoy news about the film, but also filth that occasionally gets me kicked off. Facebook. Uh, I know. We like that, though, here in Philly. I know. <laughs> absolutely. Speaking of projects, we know uh, you have another very important, cool project that is coming here tomorrow. Chastity Bites, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Okay. Chastity Bites is, is definitely my baby. I've been working on that for 10 years okay. as well. Yeah. And finally, it's come to fruition, which is great. It's a horror comedy. It basically takes this ancient blood countess who is a true life historical figure who slaughtered virgins thinking mm. that their blood would keep her young forever and places her still alive but in red state America traveling around undercover as an abstinence only educator and getting her brand of Botox by killing virgins that way mm, yeah wow. we skewer conservatives maybe just a tad yeah. yeah and we kill virgins so what's not to like I know that's what we are all about here right <laughs> absolutely um, it's really my kind of town I, I gotta say yeah <laughs> and we love you here too absolutely thank you so much for your time. I really greatly appreciate it. No problem. Have a great night.